everything here, guys. Okay, we are in recording mode. And I want to welcome again everyone that is here for the business success training. And we're going to go right into the identify uh, because when you're brand new, you need to start making a list. And there's three things I use to identify the people that I want to work with. We know health is number one for a lot of people. We know finances is another, but we also have to include time freedom because there are people who make very good income, but the finances is not the issue that they're addressing. They want to have something that gives them time freedom and be able to replace that financial income working less hours. And so health, finances, and time freedom are the three things that I use to kind of uh, place my uh, interested prospects into who am I going to talk to and why would I be coming to them to offer what I have. So uh, this is very important and always have new people to talk to wherever you go, family, friends, work, church. Again, all of this training is on our webinar. And if you're brand new, you just have to take time to do it over and over until you kind of feel comfortable that you understand the steps that are necessary for you to do better than what than uh, what you do when you first start. But I, I like what someone had shared last week. Anything worth doing is worth doing badly at first. And I remember 21 years ago when I started, oh my goodness, I didn't even know what to say. Um, when you go to a networking group and that, you have 30 seconds to try to explain what it is you do. It's very stressful and you just don't always know how to talk. Uh, so, for those who do not know who I am, I am Sandy Sopko. I'm in Arizona. I have been part of Relive now for 21 years. I did not have an intention to do a business because I had been introduced to other uh, networking and products, uh, trying to find something for my health challenges. And so I really was not looking for a business. However, my background is in uh, radiology, both diagnostic and cancer. And I was looking to solve my personal health problems that were from four car accidents that I had in my early 20s. And as I aged and worked and had four children, uh, my body started to break down. And I didn't understand that. I thought being a mother of four was just <laughs> not a happy camper time. It was really tough. And uh, I realized that the injuries that I had back then were causing me a lot of health challenges from fatigue, pain all the time, severe digestive disorder. And I was really praying for answers for my health when someone heard me complain and she said, what if my friend has something that can help you? Her husband's off of 30 years of pain meds. And you know, that was what really got my attention because I wanted to get out of pain. I wanted to have a quality of life. And so my journey began there. It took me almost five months to kind of uh, turn the corner and then I journeyed old and it took me about 15 months to restore 23 years of uh, poor health that I had gone from age 31 to 54 struggling trying to get my health back. I went to five different doctors, I did the therapies, alternative, and that was a $50,000 investment. So what I do today is actually pay it forward. All that I learned along the way, I just pass it on to the people I meet because I know what it is to have uh, poor health and be depressed because you haven't found an answer yet. So we're in a position to help people do the right thing so wrong things don't happen. And so when you identify who you're gonna talk to, just remember what your job is. You want to help give them a quality of life whether it be for health, finances, or otherwise. So there we are. And connect. Who do we connect with? Um, I, I've been in the business a long time, so I continually go out and see people and new people. It's not my initial contact list. It's always the new people out there who don't know about Relive. How many of you go out every day and ask somebody, are you familiar with Relive? And they tell you, no, I've never heard of it. And you share your excitement and why you thought of them, you know, when you, you're talking to anybody is, you know, I work with a company that pro provides a higher level of nutritional supplement that allows you to have a quality of life as you age. And that's really where it's at. People are tired. 
one of the things that I shared when I was speaking to the Chamber of Commerce was the um, uh, what was happening to people in the workplace. They are going to work tired when they get up in the morning and they're wondering how they're going to get through the day. And look at people when you're out. Do they look like they need a little more energy? I look at their body. If they're slumped over and they're tired, their posture is going to be less than what it should be. They're not going to stand up straight. And you just start talking to them. Um, how's your job going? You know, what do you like best about it? So when I connect, I'm asking questions to find out how can I really help them with what they need? Using their why lets them know you care. So if you don't ask questions to find out more about them, you can't really focus on how can I help the, you, you know, in, in uh, what it is that Relive will do for them and their family. My, my focus is make family health number one uh, because we really need to bring up a new healthy generation of children. And as I get into what I talk about, about, you'll understand. But I like the opening sentences that are listed here. Uh, just simple. Kathy, I know your health is a priority. Uh, I'm working with a company that could really help you. Can, when can we get together? And then being out in um, the soccer field, you know, it's easy when you're at a game. My kids played sports. And you always are talking in between what's going on with the game. And this one, hi, John, at the soccer game, you mentioned that finances are tight. People are always talking about their health and money. And if you listen, why not offer to share with them something that you found? Let's get together. Maybe there's something that I can help you with. And I've just started in something that made me think of you. You really need to check it out. It's a chance to earn some serious money. And sometimes you have to be careful for who you say this to. This has to be somebody maybe that you've known for a while that trusts you. If you go up to a stranger and you start talking about making some serious money, sometimes that might not be an appropriate thing. I'm just telling you from experience because I've heard people say, oh yeah, they're chasing the money. So you want to be really careful who you say that to. Uh, but main thing is you want to set an appointment and get together with them. Keep in mind when you come in as a new distributor, work as a team with your sponsor work and follow what they know has been helpful for other people because we've made the mistakes along the way and we know what works and sometimes uh, we just want to do some things that we don't understand and I'll give you an example I had a brand new person come in and without telling me she went out and made these um, signs for her car and those are very expensive and I knew from past that it wasn't the one that would work for that. And so she spent a lot of money and, and it did not work. You know, I wish she would have asked. So before you do anything in marketing in that, ask your sponsor and make sure that it's compliant with what Relive asked us to do. Okay. Share the story, share your story, your why, your belief in your heart. This is important when you take time to first allow those people to share about themselves. You can't just go up and try to sell yourself and the product. You have to know what the other person might have an interest in. There are some people that maybe after talking with them, um, they just wouldn't be the fit. That they, they clearly let you know that this isn't something that they're interested in because some people just aren't ready to have uh, what we have now, and that's okay. But one of the things that I love about our present, uh, presentation tools is the opportunity book. The new one that came out that uh, shows all the products in the front, and then the next page shows Dr. Galvez and, and uh, Dr. Carl Hastings. I actually took a copy of the epigenetics information, and then I made a copy of our RLV products that have all the tinctures and the balm on one page. And I inserted that in the opportunity book. So as I'm presenting, I want them to know why we are different. We have proprietary products with epigenetic nutrition and adding the hemp extracts and the balm is just, I call it the icing on the cake. We've already had products that are addressing many of the challenges that are listed on the uh, hemp extracts as being beneficial. 
And um, I just want them to see, because the opportunity book doesn't have the hemp extracts and the balm in there. So just add an insert to make sure that you have all your products being shown. They can go, you can go on relive.com and go over the get started and go through all the training again, because like anything else, you have to do things over and over in order for you to get it all. Uh, it takes about six times seeing it over and over before you understand everything. And then you go back to your sponsor and the upline that is working with your sponsor and you use the teamwork uh, to make things uh, the way they need to be. So <clears throat> share the relive story. Now help new people engage themselves and who they know. So as you are working with your sponsor and being on the different conference calls, this is where I gathered my confidence by listening to the different conference calls and hearing people share what these products were doing. It was jaw dropping because being in the medical side, I would hear doctors tell people there's nothing more that can be done. But when I was on these calls, I was hearing total opposite people getting their lives back with something that they were told there was nothing more to be done. So we need to understand what we've got our hands on. Uh, meetings and events. Now, I personally have two uh, in-home presentations uh, twice a month at my home, and, and it's designed for new distributors to bring their guests to hear more about our company and our products. And I love to sample the shakes, and I love to uh, have them have a little taste test of the RLV product. So make it simple. It's no more than 45 minutes. And I do have them fill out an information sheet because, and I have them sign in on a guest list so that I have their name, their phone number, and their email. Because you want to follow up with anyone who came uh, to your presentation because follow up is very important they may need to have additional information and anytime something new comes out then you can mail it out to them and uh, the person who brought them to your presentation will also be doing follow-up and that's one of our jobs is to work with our new people to make sure they're doing uh, follow-up and giving some tips on what can they send to their new uh, prospect that could maybe um, make a difference whether they decide to look at what we have or or they don't you know it's very important the video tools i know i'm not into everything but our videos are the best there is and if you can send a video to somebody of a specific interest that they mention then that's that's why we have those tools there the lifestyle magazine i built my business on the stories out of the lifestyle magazine I would copy early on in the days that we had the hard copy. I would actually copy the page of some stories and I would do a personal note and mail out. Guys, don't get away from uh, the mail. Sometimes my people are so busy that the best way for me to communicate is for them to open up a letter with the information. And I know they're going to get it because I personally mailed it to them. And I still, every three to four months, I send out a letter to all my people personally handwritten even the address is handwritten because I want them to know that they're important so 21 years later I still have people on the product for lifetime because I took care of them the way we are supposed to take care of our people to make sure that they have the very best all the way you know we come with lifetime you know we sell a product but we come with that that product for the rest of their life so they know uh, help is only a phone call away if they've got a question and how can people refer you when you don't take care of them if you get a referral or you refer somebody to someone else what is your reason that you refer it to someone else because you're confident the other person is going to take care of your friend and that's what we have to build a confidence in our our customer base Okay, ask for the decision. Oops. Uh. That went too fast. One of the things I do at the end, I have a little cheat sheet and I usually have the now and the energize what it cost with the tax and shipping and then I have 
uh, the Mighty Three, which is the nutrition, the hydration, and the fiber, and I have what it would cost. And the reason I do that is because I want to make it easy for them to decide where do you want to get started. Uh, you know, and that's important. Sometimes they're looking for a way to have help and sometimes they're looking for an income. But if you show them how simple it is to get started and help somebody get started. I, I gave this sheet to a gentleman that I had seen uh, about a year ago and his mother is 62 having some issues. And he said, oh, it's great to see you again. And he says, you know, I, I really need to get together with you. Well, I happen to have that sheet with me handed it to him with the new RLV on there and what the cost was on that. And he said, oh, I have been using the RLV. I'm so glad that I know you have it because I know you have good products. And when he saw that the Now and the Energize was $86 for a month's supply, he said, this is so reasonable. I am so excited that I, I see you again, but be prepared to let people know that we have quality products and the prices are designed so families can have the best product at the best price. And that was just retail. So just imagine when he knows the uh, savings that's available for the family. And when I look at family health, I'm looking at mom and dad, brother, sister, aunt and uncle. And when you are showing them these products and the needs, the families can actually go together and they can order a way that everyone can afford to have uh, good health with these products. And, and again, recommended orders ready for each. I do have a quick start order that shows several different ways that they can order 500 and save 25% and then be ready to register. We can actually use our app to register people. And sometimes I just take their social security, their birth date, and their credit card and the busy working people, I just say, how about if I just go ahead and get you registered, I'll take care of that for you. Do you know that's important because sometimes they're so busy that they can't even get online to do it. It took somebody three days. She said, I was so busy, but I am going in and I'm going to do it right now. And she did register, but she was busy. But my busy people, be ready to help them. Don't make it a big project where they've got to go online and do all this stuff. Their, their minds aren't ready for that. So I register people all the time and then we make sure they get their order and everything's good to go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. I, I know this is kind of a, a quick through that, but I want to go through how we can talk out in public and what we can say and for brand new people or even those that are seasoned to understand uh, what we've got our hands on and I want to incorporate some information about the CBD from a call that was done the other night. So hold on, we're going to switch over. Okay, starving for nutrients in America. Almost every chronic disease can be reversed through diet and lifestyle changes. This was an article that was in a success magazine that featured Relive on the front of the magazine. And I'm a reader, and I like what Bob Montgomery has always said, leaders are readers. If we don't educate ourselves on what we are doing, why we're doing it, and why it's better than what is on the market, then it's very difficult for us to have confidence that we can go out with pride and know that we've got something above and beyond what other people are offering. And the changes in our foods and how they're grown and harvested have been um, quite, quite serious over the years because we are seeing that we're not getting the nutrients our parents and grandparents uh, were getting years ago. Popeye spinach in the 1930s was considered the superfood. And how many of you, uh, well, you may be too young to remember that, <laughs> but those who do, even Popeye would have to do a supplement. There's no way that you have enough nutrition in the food the way it's processed today. What about those pills? We've all been told about pills not being as easily absorbed. 15 to 30% is what most vitamins and minerals in any pill form. In 2002, the American Medical Association posted in their journal that we needed to start supplementing. They finally acknowledged that our food wasn't enough to keep us healthy. Food keeps you alive, but it doesn't have enough to repair and restore our bodies on a daily basis. So 
supplementation is very important. However, Relive has a higher level of bioavailability and the synergism of how it's put together gives us the very best nutritional supplements available today. We have a 98% absorption factor uh, in our supplements. Who needs nutrition? This came from one of our um, conferences. Dr. Carl had shared this, 90 million Americans have a vitamin D deficiency, 30 million are deficient in B6, another 18 million B12, and 16 million are deficient in vitamin C. This was from way back when, and I had actually gotten this from a PhD nutritionist. And again, I told you earlier, I spent $50,000 on things that didn't work. And I want to just say right now, we don't make any claims to heal, cure, or diagnose any disease. We just know that the body responds when it has the right nutrition, proper hydration, and proper fiber to make things work. We have like 12 systems in our body that have to have all of this support or they just start um, not working. But 67% of everyone we know will die from nutritional related disease was what in 1900 the US Surgeon General stated. To fast forward today, that has gone up to 80% of the people are sick and will die from a chronic related disease. So that means only 20% of the people are living healthy. And no matter how many servings of vegetables and fruits we eat, our soil is so depleted as you can see by this, that we cannot have the quality of nutrients that were there before. Uh, bigger is not always better. And I talked to someone who worked on a chicken farm and he said in 30 days, these little bitty chickens are shipped to market. And if you've noticed, chicken breasts are looking like turkey breasts. They are huge. Uh, one of the things about beef is they put in growth hormone. And often doctors will tell their patients to cut back on the red meat because that residual of growth hormone in the chicken and in the beef can get into our bodies and it can actually be causing us to gain weight. It's just one of the issues that has been out there and of a, a concern for a lot of people. What we know is not everyone has the finances to buy grass fed uh, food and chickens without all the hormones. So we have to deal with a larger population that needs to know what can we do uh, to help ourselves and you know everything in moderation, but we have to supplement to really get what we need to fill the gap of what's missing in our food. I tell people that are frustrated with their weight management, they're often told that they're compulsive and obsessive overeaters. And I don't believe that is true. Their body's not digesting and absorbing nutrients. And if you're not getting enough nutrients, you're going to go eat more. Uh, it's just the way the body's gonna respond. And these are some of the did you knows. The fast food restaurants in the 50s, the TV dinners in the 80s, and the most uh, important factor that to relate to is how most families are eating out three times a week. And that started in the 1990s. And there was an article about how, how eating at home can save your life. In 1900, a whopping 98% of meals were eaten at home. But as of 2010, only 50% of meals were eaten at home. And a recent study found that people yeah, who frequently cook shop. meals at home have less fat, carbs, and sugar than She's people who don't. In fact, they are... Um, I they mean, are more apt to eat healthier out. And if someone's she, talking, she talks, guys, if you're talking, please uh, know that it's coming through. Let me push the business on her initially, she said, because she had been Okay, I'm going to do that. wouldn't have been, because she was super sick. She's got the radio. Okay. All right, guys. I, uh, I'm mute. Okay. Now the research shows that children who have regular meals with their parents do better in every way from grades to healthier relationships to staying out of trouble. They are 42% less likely to drink, 50% less likely to smoke, and 66% less likely to smoke marijuana. Regular family dinners protect girls from bulimia, anorexia, and diet pills. Family dinners also reduce the incidence of childhood obesity. Okay. 
In the study of household routines and obesity in U.S. preschool aged children, it was shown that kids as young as four have a lower risk of obesity if they eat regular family dinners, have enough sleep, and don't watch TV on weekdays. Wow. <laughs> So we complain about not having enough time to cook, but Americans spend more time watching cooking on the Food Network than actually preparing their own meals. And in a series, Food Revolution, Jamie Oliver shows, as we have raised a generation of Americans who can't recognize single vegetables or fruits and they don't know how to cook. The family dinner has been hijacked by the food industry and he goes on to say that we didn't need to have ingredient label and barcodes on our foods when they were the way they should have been years ago. And now the food science has stepped in and they think they can do all the packaged food and make it easier. And it actually has created a nightmare of uh, in superior you know, products. It's just not the quality that we need with preservatives and all the things that are in packaged food. And they uh, went on to say that it's a sad state that nutritionists and doctors need to teach us how to eat. Uh, it's in a reflection that we've really gotten away with knowing how to take care of our families uh, at home with good, good food. Whoops. Well, for some reason, I'm just trying to... Guys, I'm having a little bit of a, uh, huh. got a little technical difficulty here. Okay, these are the three major causes of disease, pollution, stress, and diet. And pollution can come from environmental, it, com it can come from the workplace, it can come from additives in uh, packaged foods and things that we're eating. And I give an example, my father-in-law passed away in the mid 50s with heart issues. He and four of his brothers worked in the US steel mills, very toxic condition. His father had the toxicity from working there that damaged his heart. Another brother had stomach cancer, another had liver cancer. So workplace is very important and a lot of times, uh, many years ago, there weren't the EPA regulations. And one of the things I wanna mention is if you're going to be out walking, do not walk on a main street. There is high pollution, walk on the inner side where traffic is less and that you're not breathing in all the fumes from cars and the diesel trucks and the buses. It's, it's very toxic to your body. Uh, this is a big problem, stress. One of the big things that came out recently was a medical diagnosis called work burnout. And I, I label this as stress. What we have to understand is in the 1960s, there were only four categories of issues, heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, and cancer. There were four cancers, breast cancer, ovarian, uterine, and lymphoma. Today, there are 16 different ribbons that are cancers over the years that have been categorized. Stress is a big factor. Stress can kill you. We've heard that. Stress does a lot of damage to the cardiovascular system. It can cause your digestive system not to work well. And we really need to find ways to um, manage our stress. And I really believe that a lot of people uh, go into the anxiety and depression because uh, they don't know how to manage their stress. So there are some things that we can do and I have some information that I can pass on so you can pass it on to your clients. Inflammation is another major contributing factor to diseases and aging and we've all heard about inflammation, but anything with an itis, arthritis, diverticulitis, colitis, appendicitis, sinusitis, tendonitis, pancreatitis, cellulitis. Now, Pancreatitis was epidemic about 10 years ago at one of the hospitals locally. I was talking to some nurses and they said almost all of their admissions were pancreatitis. And that was kind of an interesting thing. Seasonal allergies, people live with sinusitis all the time. And cellulitis, if you do not understand what that is, the people who are riding the scooters, look at their legs. They're swollen, they're red. This is inflammation of the cells, the um, you know, 
cardiovascular as well as their lymphatic system having inflammation in their legs. Most of the time they are given a diuretic to relieve the water and the pressure, but they haven't gotten to the root cause. Functional, the, the kidneys aren't working the way they need to. And we need to understand that if our systems aren't healthy, we can't function. And when you're put on a medication, that medication is doing the function that your body's not. So when you properly put in the nutrition, the proper hydration and fiber to clear out everything, the body begins to function at a higher level. So we're gonna talk about undoing the damage through epigenetics nutrition. And I like this slide because it shows the inflammation of the retina. This is a diabetic patient, 26 years old, legally blind. And before the balance of nutrients, the inflammation was there. But one month later, you can see how the inflammation has gone down. This young lady was 26 years old, legally blind. And in a short period of time, she was able to read four lines on an eye chart. That was another jaw-dropping thing to hear this uh, information. But the problem is inadequate nutrition and proper elimination. My $50,000 gave me this information from my PhD nutritionist, and it helped me understand what's going on in our digestive tract. And you have to understand, when I worked in radiology, people would come in, and the digestive problems and the colon, that was a major problem, and also pain. This is why they're in having tests, because they aren't managing those two problems. But if we are 80% of the people 40 years and older have nine to 12 pounds of impacted fecal material in their in inner lining, they cannot absorb nutrients. So you have 30 feet of small bowel, that is where you absorb the nutrients that are emptied out of your stomach into your small intestine. And if it's not getting what it needs, you can have allergies, you can have fatigue, you can have indigestion, weight gain, diverticulitis, colitis, all these things begin to be filled up. But the plaque that builds up in that intestinal tract is also happening in your arteries. We hear about people having um, aneurysms, whether it be subdural or aorta aneurysm. The plaque builds up and it breaks off and it causes a blockage. And then of course there's a rupture because there's no way to get the blood flow through. That's just a simple way to understand. So plaque can only build up if we don't have high fiber, and if we don't hydrate, fiber is the free way to health. We have to have soluble, insoluble to take care of the digestive tract as well as the arteries. And the indication here, the A is a normal uh, open artery, but by the time they're 22, they have a 20% buildup. At 35, they have a 50% buildup. And at 45, there's a 90% buildup of plaque. You've heard of people drop dead heart attacks. This is where it begins to happen. They don't even know they have these problems. When women go through menopause, they are now at a higher risk of having a heart attack as their cause of death rather than breast cancer. And we're always focused on the breast cancer for women. But if we take care of our digestive tract and we take care of our circulatory system, these are the key delivery systems that allow every organ in the body to get the nutrient and the blood supply that it needs. Uh, fiber is important. This is one of the slides that we've had about our fiber, 30 to 50 grams of fiber. We know 10 grams is in each scoop of our fiber store. And there's no way that anyone is eating 13 fruits and vegetables a day. I don't even get half of that. And I'm trying to be conscientious to have my salads and everything, but we have to provide the consumer a way to take care of what we need to have to be healthy. So our fiber is the only patented soluble, insoluble fiber on the market. And I wanna skip over here and get to uh, the top leading causes of death. And the reason this is important, I did a 12 day webinar with functional medicine doctors. They all agreed nutritional supplements are key. These are doctors in all areas of health that were on this seminar, they don't have an answer for Alzheimer's. There is no drug that is taking care of it. And my, my personal opinion, we're not drug deficient. If our bodies aren't functioning, then we start to have all the problems. They talked about stress and lack of sleep, compromising your health. 
if you don't manage stress, you yeah, cause you yourself out. not to be say? able to manage your weight. One of the things you have to understand is our body produces cortisone. That's a hormone. And if you're stressed out and you're not managing it and you're having trouble dealing with your this weight management really being a healthy health fitness stuff it. for you, Jeez, it's the stress <laughs> under control. Exercise for the replacement of antidepressants. I met a gentleman whose son had PTSD. And one of the she things he said his son was doing to manage his stress she's was with exercise. Think of moving to Arizona. So, um, <laughs> whoever is talking, there's someone talking. Please don't talk because you're being recorded. Okay. Um, we want to exercise to produce those things that help us counteract the depression. The same chemicals that come from our body can take care of it, rather than taking a prescriptive medication that often has side effects. And as I was saying, a gentleman was telling me his son exercises uh, faithfully because they, he has found that's how he handles his PTSD. Brain blood barrier was a big factor that just was an aha moment. The same plaque that builds up in the digestive tract in your arteries, you have to understand the brain has blood vessels that feed every part of that brain. If they get clogged up, then guess what? Our brain isn't going to be fed and it's going to stop functioning. One of the things we have to understand is prevention should be our primary goal. We have been a proactive person in our family to, to repair and restore and maintain quality of life because we understand Relive is a simple way to do that. But most people are reacting. They don't fix things till they're broken and they wanna have something that works. Uh, they went on to say, treat your body like a car, good maintenance will give you great mileage. And I like to tell people, I keep your body on the road and out of the repair shop. Uh, because that's really what nutrition is about and keeping you healthy so you don't have to go in to have the surgeries or the other issues that, that many people have. This is the solution to quote Mark Twain, the doctor of the future will give no medication, but will interest his or her patients to the care of the human frame in a proper diet and in the cause and prevention of disease. Exercise is your king and nutrition is your queen. Together they create your fitness kingdom. So the first wealth is your health. We know that. Healthy food choices, uh, portion control. If you eat portion control a small amount, that's about a 400 calorie intake for a meal. If you go to Burger King and the others, you're gonna have 1,200 to 1,500 calories in one meal. The water, for every 30 pounds, you need to drink two glasses of water, okay? The supplements have to be addressing the three things that we have problems from kids to adults. We're malnourished, dehydrated, and constipated. So the nutrition, proper hydration, and the high fiber will address all those issues. And over the years, I've heard 90% of all of the symptoms that we have from fatigue to pain to digestion, whatever it is can be addressed if we take care of the foundation of what our body needs to function. Exercise is not just for what you see outside, it is to help your mind, body, and your spirit, the emotional well-being and the function of the body and mentally clear to function at a high level. Healthy lifestyle equals stress management. I mentioned if you don't manage stress, it will sabotage your health. Keep your body and brain active. Uh, this is just some of the things you need to keep doing and interact. And fun, food, and fellowship, those are probably the most important things because people are what keep us going, those relationships. And if you isolate yourself, and so often this happens as people age, then they become very lonely and depressed. Rest seven to eight hours a night is what is recommended uh, by them. Healthy children become healthy adults. These are kind of startling statistics from the pediatric journal. Uh, first of all, the first five years of the brain development is critical. What a wonderful thing to know the kids' nutrition has brain food and that we can provide that for our children. The first 12 years, it's critical to get good calcium into the children. And if we did that, we could actually wipe out the adult osteoporosis if we got enough into their system. The other thing, one out of seven children will be diagnosed with cancer. And brain tumors and leukemia are the number one 
our number two things that are taking the lives of our children. And just the other day, I met a grandfather whose 10 year old granddaughter is having surgery for a brain tumor next week. And that was just like, oh my goodness. So I went into my files that I have so many great stories and I sent him some incredible stories of brain tumors and how it, the nutrition has helped with uh, those particular issues. Again, we don't cure anything, but nutrition has a profound effect of allowing the body to take care of itself if we do it on a daily basis. The other thing, juvenile arthritis and diabetes, it's always been a problem that I remember when I was uh, in the hospital training in 1962, we only had a wing for children pediatric. Now in Phoenix, we have a whole pediatric hospital because the challenges have become so great. Again, heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, and cancer were the initial. We now have a whole category of mental health issues, neuromuscular problems, a very large group of special needs issues. We have the obesity children now. This is, this is shocking. 30, uh, the obesity in children has tripled since 1970. And this is the first generation not expected to outlive their parents because of the issues that are going on. Uh, we do know that uh, health is everything from the time a mama is conceiving uh, the newborn. And that's the beautiful part. Our nutrition is safe for a mom to use it as a prenatal. I have a family that has three children now, 10, nine, and seven. Mother used it as prenatal weaned them off of mother's milk and was getting nutrition that way from Relive and went to the kid's product. They have never had an antibiotic. They have been happy children, healthy, and that's really what it's all about. And so I want to add what the CBD uh, call was about the other night that really allows us to understand that our systems depend on everything working together holistically and in the body, we do have those 12 systems and the homeostasis is a, ba a balanced body that is functioning well. What was discovered in the mid nineties is there is another system in our body and it's the endocannabinoid system. It sends out neural transmitters called cannabinoids and they are taken in by the receptors in the cells in all of the other systems. Their job is to keep all the systems running in balance in one, if one system stops getting enough of these cannabinoids, for whatever reason, it can start to falter. It can start to malfunction, which can cause a chain reaction. As we age, our bodies start producing less of these cannabinoids, and the result is more than one system begins to malfunction. We are going to find that our immune system is compromised, we get sick, and arthritic pain is one of the biggest problems as we're aging. So what we have to recognize is the hemp plant and the CBD products can do two things. They can replace the cannabinoids our bodies are not producing. They can stimulate our bodies to produce more of its own. And we don't go around looking for sick people. We need to look at the hemp as being a medicinal product. I am so thankful that the Farm Bill passed to categorize hemp as an agricultural product. It is not a drug uh, as it had been lumped in to the um, marijuana plant and wrongly put into an area that did not allow us to have the hemp for use in a healthy way and a safe way. Um, and so that's one of the positive things that, that I uh, liked about the call that introduced what what the cannabinoids are doing and how it plays a major role in the function of our whole body. The World Health Organization, if you go on and you Google CBD benefits, they list all the different therapeutic benefits there, starting with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, MS, Huntington pain, anxiety, and the list goes on. And it's really nice that we have a, a World Health Organization that we can actually go to and see the good things and document it for anybody who wants to check it out. They mentioned FDA approved a medical grade of CBD. And what's shocking is they're now selling that for seizure help for an annual fee of $35,000. Again, they took something that was natural, put it into a drug, and now the high price. And this has been the problem all along with pharma. They take things and 
put it into a medicine and it's a very costly thing. Someone figured out that that 35,000 would provide you 33 years of our Relive products and the hemp products uh, to do the uh, things that we need to do to stay healthy. So that was just a little bit of what came out of a call that uh, helps us understand the value of what everything is that we're doing. And my goal <clears throat> is we need to focus on the fact that we have the very best for kids and adults. We have the best athletic products. And most of all, we have senior fitness available. There is no one who cannot maintain quality of life. No child should have a disease that can be prevented and no adult should lose, lose quality of life as he or she ages. Relive provides everything we need to help our bodies function optimally. So I, I think this will help you understand that when you go out and offer something, you have pride. We have something as above and beyond. And I have to share with you, there was a realtor who came up to me and she said, <clears throat> what's epigenetic? I wear a name tag that has my name. It says Relive Leader in Epigenetics. And she said, what, what do you do? <clears throat> and I said to her, I keep you healthy so you don't lose money. And that's true. If you own a business or you're in any workplace, if you're missing work, you could lose your job. If you're the owner of the business and you're down, you will lose money. It's just a difficult situation. But I will share with you that in one week's time, just sharing that we are leader in epigenetics and we are addressing all the issues that people are trying to get a handle on and taking care of. Uh, I had someone come up to me and say, I need to talk to you did not have any idea that her mother was dealing with Parkinson's. She came to another networking and shared with 40 or more people at, at a luncheon what this product had done for her mother in less than one week. And as I uh, got ready to leave, another gentleman, when he stood up to share that he had home care, he said, my mother is dealing with MS, my father with dementia. And he looked at me and said, I definitely need to talk to you. So, you know, we just need to get out networking, look at the meetup groups, guys, find a place to go to meet people, to share and get a name badge that says leader in epigenetics, because if they ask you what that is, then it gives you permission to say, we provide a higher level of nutritional support than what most people take in pill form and other things on the market. We provide you quality of life as you age and you feel your best every day. And I always say, put the can in your health. What if you can feel better than good? This is really important for you to be the role model. And if you're out there and people see that you're healthy, you're smiling, and you feel good, I mean, they notice that you have good energy. And when I was speaking at the chamber, a member had to leave early. And he came up to apologize for having to leave early. And he said, I really wanted to hear what you had to say because you always have good energy and, you know, just going on. And I said, well, thank you very much. Well, I'm going to follow up and have a one-on-one -on -one appointment with him because he indicated that that was what he would like to do since he couldn't attend. The other thing too, in one week's time, I connected with people with Crohn's disease, brain tumor, Down syndrome, MS, rheumatoid arthritis, and prostate cancer all by the badge that I wear, epigenetics, when they ask me what it is, then I can tell them. And then I usually ask them, is there anything going on in your family that you would like to address? And, and the one gal told me, my father has prostate cancer. Uh, and somebody else said, well, I just had a new grandbaby that was diagnosed with um, Down syndrome and has a hole in her heart. So, you know, you have to ask people, is there anything you can help them with? So I hope this has been a helpful uh, webinar and that it will allow you to be able to take the information and understand that our job is to help people do the right thing so wrong things don't happen and that we are to be the role model and be the product of the product and have the good energy to go up and know that we can make a difference in somebody's life go out there and make a difference in the people's lives that you meet this week and every day. God bless you. Have a great weekend.